Morning. Morning. There's Muddy Lake Bottom on there. So what we got is the kind of silt you probably find in the River Thames. The mud is so soft out there. It does look like it goes out for a long distance, but you could sink up to your chest if you're not careful in this mud. That's why a lot of people, when they come here, they park with their boat nicely. And this is Kalamalka Lake, so it will have a unique green texture as well as being very clear because of the lime bottom of the lake. <laughs> My silly husband went down a steep bank just to see what he could see on the shore. Lots of clouds today, but there's lots of purposely put logs in the lake in the thick murk so that boats don't ground up on the not so thicker stuff. We see nothing. It's good. Still going down. No garbage down there. Yes. What did you find? I, I see a boat. Uh, from out of nowhere. Nobody, uh, nobody tends to park their boats here. <laughs> But it's not old. Maybe they're just storing it there for when they come out and paddle around. It would be a little bit slippery to walk on. That's for sure. Definitely. So pretty. Yeah, if you're gonna come to the Okanagan, bypass Kelowna and all those other ones. I'm kidding, Kelowna's lovely. But you can't beat the Kalamalka Lake. It's just too gorgeous for words. Pretty white rocks in there that he uncovered with his boot. Yeah. People like to snorkel in this area. Just up here, following the little bit higher than water level, checking this spot out. And we've been having some finds, bowls and baby bottles. And the hubby is over there doing the lakeshore. <laughs> Hopefully I got him in that picture. So we've come around uh, the point and now we're heading down this trail where we still have some greenery in the middle of November. It's so pretty. And uh, hubby's down there in his yellow vest picking out some cans and bottles that he's been finding. <laughs> This little pondy area here is usually full of lily pads in the spring and summer. You can sort of see some remnants. 
Need help? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Murky water. Oh. How full is your boot? Oh, oh. oh that's cold. Oh, that, yeah. In BC, the water gets cold really quick and doesn't warm up at all. Oh. <laughs> At least you didn't lose your boot. <laughs> oh, didn't lose my boot. Got it just in time. Let's get rid of these socks. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that was cold. <laughs> like I was saying before the. Oh. Um, <laughs> There's, this is a turtle habitat and it has indigenous turtles and bad turtles in here. So, so. Our finds for today. So it has a, a baby bottle, a little dish, lots of cans, glass bottles, shards of glass. <coughs> That old sock, <coughs> lots of plastic, and of course, a tennis ball. <laughs> I'm going to do a quick walk around this area just because I feel bad about falling into the water and I don't want to leave angry. Alright, so let's go take one last look around. Thank you everybody for coming along with us. Yes, thank you. It's a nice, beautiful Okanagan here and we've come to the Kalamalka Lake. It is just a, an amazing place to be. Uh, if you're coming here through the summer, it will be busy. You may not get parking, but it's worth the venture all the way out here. Uh, it's immaculately kept clean. As you can saw, in the pictures beforehand, we got a bunch of cans and bottles and little bits and bit, little stuff. Practically nothing is well kept. Uh, come on and visit. You'll love it here. Thank like you this. again. Like, comment, and subscribe to LC Adventures. Oh, and Lo share too, please. Oh, yeah, please share. All right, love you. Bye. So, as you can see right here, this is the part of the rail trail. So one of the major things that tends to happen when you're riding a 50 kilometer trail with a bike is that it breaks down. So the city has actually set up a nice little station here so that if you break your vehicle breaks or your bike breaks down you have tools here that you can use at your leisure which is pretty cool check it out see all the tools that you're gonna need even an air pump which is really cool